calls aren't exactly making up for it. Things aren't looking great right now, but a CT side is start for NIP. Things could just start blowing off the back of that. Let's see if they can take a pistol to give them some confidence. And back to a raid boss, boy. Are we going to see a fast A here for Na'Vi? No, we're not. They're going outside instead. This is an interesting one. Yard against the USP is always a danger. Electronic setting up deep smokes as well towards the main side. So that's going to allow an army to cross really wherever they want. Outside, hell, down secret. And that's all the utility immediately removed from NIP. That was the one man who had everything. And it's all gone. Plus the kit in heaven. Navi down B. And that's irretrievable. Remember that. NIP, they're not going to go back up heaven to then drop B, right? They need to stop that bomb plant on this B bomb site. They need to try and retake. And Boom is just being a nuisance in hell as well. Yeah, just making noise. And even then, going above and beyond that to find the kill onto Plopsky. Navi slowing right down. And I almost wonder if they're reconsidering this B site hit. Now, that would be the wrong decision to make. That would be a pretty grave decision to make as well. A lot of it is hinging on how much Boomich sees on his adventure at the A site. And Boomich just so mobile. Look at him go, sprinting around, being a a real problem for an IP. They're trying to isolate this fight while they got it. And he just, he's so slippery. Yeah. He's so slippery. Nork has gone down into the B site and amongst all of this. If Boomich... Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Had to end eventually. And there it is. Oh, an electronics killed Flamey. I don't know what's happened here, but something has happened indeed. Hugo Simple now left in the clutch. Uh, and that's a bit of a weird one there from Na'Vi. Overcomplication <laughs> would really be what my go-to word. Na'Vi not making their job easy. Oh, it's a crash. Uh, oh, that okay. Makes that sense. makes sense. So Flamey, Flamey had the bomb and he crashed. That's why Na'Vi are playing slow despite having the B site the entire high round, waiting on Boomich, hoping he can just kill all three players on that top site. Ah, that makes a lot more sense now, Harry. I was going to say, like, this is not like Na'Vi. They've got two picks. Not They're like Na'Vi, yeah, man. Yeah, we all remember yeah, that Na'Vi's time, so like, fast, simple, just, just shooting their teammate <laughs> in the head, right? But, uh, but yeah, like, Na'Vi, two picks, Boomich in, heaven, uh, Boomich in A, like, spotting a third player. Like, Na'Vi should have just rushed B, but that's obviously why they didn't. Dear. Um, yeah, so we'll be we'll be getting back in with a HUD refresh, hopefully, and seeing if everyone here is playing for Na'Vi. Who is it who crashed? Flamey crashed, right? Flamey Electronic crashed. killed him. So yeah. NIP, they'll take the piss around. I mean, that wasn't one they should be winning, not going to lie, but they will. They'll take it, Harry. It's an awkward one as well, right? Because damage had been done, and weirdly enough, it was Na'Vi who had done all the damage. Yeah. yeah, it was them who suffered from the player crashing. So yeah, that's a bit of a uh, bit of a sad one for Na'Vi to open up this game. But they're gonna look to bounce back. You know, you roll with the punches and sure the pistol round didn't go your way, but you still got time. What it does mean is that NIP are gonna get this like, you know, early lead, the confidence, the money in their favor, a 2-0 start. And, you know, that, that does hold a lot of value on a map like Nuke, where T-sided rounds can be thin and far between, right? Like, I imagine Na'Vi are going to have no problem getting rifle rounds on the board, but as is tradition with Nuke, right? CT-sided, and so Na'Vi taking a 2-0 at the beginning would be excellent for them. But, you know, that makes this game more competitive, I guess. So, you know, looking on the bright side, NIP 2-0 up. And Na'Vi, they're coming in with a third round buy. This is not a great buy, though, by any means. Three Galils, two MAC-10s. Where do they want to go with it? Smokes over the top of the silo. Na'Vi throwing outside utility, but going back into the lobby with that main Molotov. Hampus going to smoke the door, deny anyone in this A site. But Boomich actually flashing himself, will commit. He blinds Hampus as well. It's good utility here from Simple. And uh, Na'Vi are going to find all the kills behind it. Rez, nice spray back, and the push into ramp does work. I, I don't know how NIP win that. That was an opening kill for Na'Vi, and then blink and you miss it. NIP of one of four on five, with three alive. A very weird start to this game, Harry. Yeah, and NIP, they're really looking to keep it competitive, aren't they? They want to try and lock us in to that third map. Eagles back out for the Na'Vi side. And this is all allowing NIP to get off to a really rip-roaring start here. Twist 
with his wonderful little AK that he's oh, retrieved. Oh, quick switch. All right, never mind. Forget I said anything. It's now back in the hands of Electronic. The quick switch, Harry. The quick switch. Why? So many players do it. And, well, that's why you shouldn't. Simple, quick kill into res. They can split main and try and take this A site right now. Hampus, though, pushing the perimeter and finding the bomb as well. Doesn't go through the door, but Hampus shoots right through the middle and he'll find three. Saying he was struggling coming into this series or game rather, and well, he shows up in this round. But is this round still a round for NIP? Because Hampus down and Navi back in a two on two, retrieving a gun. They're getting flanked in the lobby. Oh, yeah, Nork's got it dead to right. He gets that kill there, leaves it onto Boomich, and he's not able to pick it up with the, just the Deagle. Very weird start again, like another double man advantage for Na'Vi, right? No one crashed in this round, but they get two D picks and then NIP crunch the lobby and, and drop the bomb. Na'Vi, you know, obviously we've not seen a full rifle round, but when we get to them, I hope they're a little more decisive and commit behind these kills, right? Sometimes if you just get a pick on A and you, you power through the door, you're going to be able to trade your way to a win there. So yeah, quick Molotovs into that A site here for Na'Vi. Popski's going to be ready for a fast ramp flank, and he's found Perfecto through the smoke. Nice escape as well, doesn't die. Drop off a of main as he saves Boomich from the damage of the grenade. There's a player down secret right now. I think NIP know though, they've got the orb in position, so Twist is holding on, but gotta watch out for cheeky little electronic looking for this pick. He's gonna go for a jiggle. Molotov lands, he forces a shot, that's the info, and Twist has to go back. Yeah, information at least, right? And they spot that there's a man down towards B. Electronic could try and use this to his advantage, though. It's going to force an extra man down towards this side of the map. Harvey just waiting to see if Electronic can find anything down at B, but this has left them stuck outside in the yard, and really finding anything for Ooh. these players they're sacrificing electronic as well as also bypassed plopski and is now just in a 1v5 this is going to be a very clean round for an ip don't speak too soon he might have some backstabs up his sleeve here electronic coming in from a position they don't expect but which way does he choose to go he reroutes back to the lobby and and now this is no longer like some big grand illusion or some surprise because this is map control that navi should have it anyway but he's saving he's not going for this and nip they're going to pick up a fifth round here this is uh yeah i mean now we now we see the value of that crash for navi in the pistol round obviously the value not for navi but for nip rather as they lead five and oh the momentum well and truly in their favor and the money is two the all saved and AKs across three of these CTs. I mean, not, uh, NIP are getting out with a huge amount of cash. So this is going to be hard for Na'Vi to not only break the money, but really start to get rounds on this T side where NIP are feeling good and, you know, the kills are coming in behind that. Quick pause for Na'Vi as they try and work out their money. They've got enough for a buy, but again, it would have holes. Simple 38, just enough for AK armor. He could do that and, and Boomish could you know, buy body armor uh, orp and, and swap. Lots of options available for Na'Vi, but not lots with utility. So, let's see how they decide to spend their cash. And yeah, bad expected. Couple of Galils, full util off the back of that. Let's see what Na'Vi's game plan is. Twist with some very aggressive orping here outside, and he's going to get rewarded for it early on. Last time he was here, Electronic got the better Ooh. of him. And in this round, it's kills coming up all across the board for NIP. Na'Vi left in a three on five, just out of the gate, immediately into this round. And I don't want Na'Vi to just take outside and then pop the brakes again. It feels <laughs> like they get stuck here. They lose simple. Perfecto and Boomich left up in the now just Perfecto, it might be another flawless round for NIP. Sure, Perfecto gets one, but this should be the end of this Perfecto story. Now they know he's here. As gets tagged down and isn't going to re-peek into that anytime soon. 
this AWP has long left Secret a long, long while ago. So long ago, in fact, that he's all the way over in hell Ooh. watching for this cross. Perfecto tagged even lower, just getting whittled down. 45 seconds left. There's still plenty of time for Perfecto to play this round out. But not going to be able to find anything from it, surely. Yeah, he needs to reload as well. And the closer he gets to the lobby, the, the more they're going to hear. So he needs to go back behind red if he wants to get that reload off safely. But right now, it's feeling like a save. Or at least, you know, him trying to die in the final 10 seconds. Because no plant in sight. NIP own the sites. And he could try and go towards B. But there's that cross shot for Twist. And he's going to land it perfectly. Three in the round for the AWP. And uh, Twist looking very mobile with that AWP. I like the fact that, you know, he... he has the confidence to get aggressive so early on. Simple tries to upgrade from Galil to AK. I thought he was also sort of baiting the peak, but or baiting the shot rather, but his hands get shot and well, they count for body damage. So gets removed from the round. Na'Vi down 06 in their map pick here. Slow start to the T side. Pistols out in this one. I'd like to see something fast towards rap for Na'Vi, right? Like, this would be a great round to do it. Just burst towards B, try and push Twist back and get him towards that lower bomb site. If you can kill the Orpa, you could set that up in the post plant. It can be way more valuable. Right now, Na'Vi are looking at A. Electronic is lurking behind these outside smokes, but Na'Vi are grouped in the lobby. Everywhere they go, the Orp sits. Oh, Twist flashed off the angle though. Gives him a little bit of room. And they do get out. They dispatch a flamey. Plopsky moving into this hell position to try and help out as well. He's going to have more players coming his way. Oh. Simple with the Deagle. Does delete him. Ampus has aggressed into the lobby in the meantime. With Electronic down on B and with Na'Vi having ramp control, I want to see them just commit, but they're still sat here. They're still waiting at ramp. And that is allowing for this lobby flank to come through. Electronic, while well, he will deal with one, kind of helped out at this B site, but Twist is still Ooh. here with the AWP, putting up numbers. And Electronic is going to deal with him at the very, very least, but a 1v2 now on the cards for Electronic, and Nork is not going to let it happen. Seven on the board for NIP. Flawless still over on this CT side. Agent Flamey in the server. He's gone 007. And where has this come from? Where is this NIP back in the last map? Back yesterday. I mean, this is great from Nip, but also lacking a lot of sustenance from Na'Vi. Finally, we got the best buy yet, right? And it took them eight rounds to muster. Na'Vi on the AWP now. Simple. What could he achieve with this weapon? Miami's pressuring door on that A site. Again, the fast cross from Na'Vi. They even throw the Molotovs down just to smoke them. So those smokes bloom immediately and don't bounce or take time to bloom. Electronic in lower once again. Nork is here to stop him. This time, not the AWP. They're still on the ramp side pushing. And NIP have been very aggressive towards the lobby position in this map. And that's not going to stop. They once again get control. There's no one here to stop them other than Flamey back on T-Roof. And Nork, he's going to find Electronic off of a timing in secret. Not ready for that fight. Simple still waiting outside for an engagement. But Flamey 0-7 looking at Roof. And NIP, they've left lobby because they don't need it. They know that Na'Vi don't have it. Okay, Flamey might be a bit of a surprise later in the round, but NIP can focus on the majority of these T players, which are all outside. And this was one of the, uh, like, Na'Vi are in a spot that Nip have found themselves in on the T side of Nuke quite a lot. And that is, oh, you, you play for this outside control and you just kind of lose all the momentum once you get it. Like, you don't have a purpose once you find yourself there. In this round, though, Perfecto delivering that double has actually left Na'Vi for the first time in a long while with a man advantage. And he's still down at B, just selling this lurk, keeping these players here. Na'Vi are going to secure the bomb plant up on A. And this should be an unlosable round for Na'Vi. Careful. Has been it is just Plopsky and Twist left standing, one of yeah. them not even at the right bomb site. And this should just be the save. So Na'Vi, they finally put this first round up on the board with a double uh, double kill from Perfecto on that lower flank. Yeah, that sells the fake really well, but you can't really blame NIP for dropping lower after that, that double because not only is Perfecto getting the B entries, but then think of the info NIP got earlier in the round. They cleared out lobby. They, they had the... Oh, nice shot. They had the assumption that, uh, NI, uh, that Na'Vi rather were full outside, and they were, apart from Flamey on roof. So Na'Vi coming late in through that lobby is the last thing NIP expected given the information they got earlier.
And so yeah, just to expand on like what we were saying there, Hugo, I'm sure you remember that, that Nip Astralis game that really springs to mind when yeah. I think about like NIPs outside control. And in that series, they kept getting outside and outside is a great position to have on Nuke. It opens up so much. But the problem is, oh, is you, need, remember this game. You, you need to have a plan in mind once you get it, right? Yeah. And uh, with Na'Vi right now, they, they, they have ideas. You know, we're seeing players like Electronic come in with these wraps down towards B. The problem is, is they don't really have anything to fall back on if those kills don't go their way. And that round was another good example of it. If Perfecto didn't get those two kills down in secret, the round probably would have fallen apart. Ooh. This is something else that keeps blindsiding Na'Vi, this constant aggression outside. <laughs> And now, Man Advantage taken for NIP. Nork holding the double door with this scavenged AK. That's enough to get Na'Vi away from this upper site. Simple is left in the corner. It's squeaky. He will back on out. NIP continuing to aggress. They send the first man in, but there's a second following in tow. Now taking up a position in the hut. Nork holding close. He's dropped the bomb. And will get dealt with by Simple, who's going to dive down the vents. Gets in towards this B site and now has a 1v2 on the table. But is he going to step up to the plate? Oh, the flank. He's heard it as well. Plopsky making noise throughout the fence. And Simple knows he still has to be trapped in this position. He doesn't even want the fight. And I like that for Simple. Plopsky, he's missed the timing. He hasn't seen Simple escape secret. And now they think he's in B. He could be anywhere by now. He could go B ramp heaven. He could go B ramp lobby. He could do exactly what he's doing right now and so nip they need to work out all of these positions all of these rotations for simple available oh he's not going to check it wow what a shot legged by twist Tw uh, simple turns it around he knows Plopsky was in the vent earlier he's got that information 20 seconds though hanging around by the vent waiting for his time to strike Plopsky doesn't want to move until he gets the audio he knows the time is in his favor simple Eventually make a move. That's a good grenade, but it's not going to kill Plopsky in this position. Simple. Go for the stick. Plopsky's up the vents. 10 seconds. That grenade. End the round. Done. Deal. Easy for NIP. Uh, Plopsky's going to shut up Simple with the HE. Oh. This is a great game for an IP right now. Not what I expected, though. Yeah, it's just so one-sided. I don't know where this has come from. An IP. You know, you could feel it towards the end of Overpass that they started to feel a bit more confident, right? But it was just they were up against 15, and so it's hard to get it over the line in that kind of situation. One mistake is all it takes, or in the case of that, that round that won RB the game, it was an ace from Simple. NIP warming up, getting back into the swing of things. Now in this round, it might be a five on Ooh. three, now five on two, and that's all thanks to Flamey securing a double entry. Nork and Plopsky, maybe a chance with two of these players low. If they're able to even get a kill here, it might entice them in, but with nothing presenting itself, you're imagining this should just be the save. Yeah, worth noting the money here for NIP, right? It's not in a good spot, and it's going to get worse if Nork drops here. He's found a kill outside, getting tagged. There's more in the spawn. Na'Vi trying to put Flamey back in T-spawn so he survives the round. He's out of this one, but luckily so are NIP. They want nothing to do with this. Smoke and Main is going to deny the outside exits for Na'Vi, and they have to move back towards the lobby to save their guns, so... Not a worry. They probably want to build their money as well and keep this orb. So, Navi are going to escape safely. Simple being the last man out, not wanting to get ninjured by the ninjas. So, Navi find two. And yeah, okay, for sure. Reality check, though. This may have been a dominant start for NIP. This may have been a, a 7 0 and 8 1. But Navi, if there were a team that, you know, had the cojones to come back in this T side and put a few rounds on the board. It's going to be them. This is their map pick as well. They've got the, 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 the deep strat book. NIP are playing with a new in-game leader right there, doing a lot of things on the fly, I can imagine. Simple going very fast outside. Twist. Timing is not his friend. Simple gets a quick kill. He spots the orb as well. He knows that's in position. And the spam through the smoke as well. Flamey has looked really good here, even though Na'Vi have been struggling. Another entry. Last couple of rounds, Flamey has stepped up to deliver Navi some kills. Perfecto does the same out the door, and Navi just fall back in another five on two. 
Yeah, but they're spread very, very far apart. And, and while this has kind of, you know, restricted NIP's movements as well, and it's kept them divided, there's there's a chance that a few, you know, 1v1s here for NIP. And all that's going to take is for, you know, like, say, two of them to go your way. If Plopsky and Rez each win a 1v1 here, they're in a 2 on 3. And suddenly that's a very, very doable round. So for Na'Vi, the priority needs to be keeping this in your favor. And that's going to be very, very hard to do with how split up they are right now. Thankfully, with three players down at B with that bomb, they, they should have everything required to keep this chugging along. Let's see though, Rez in Ooh. the site, an unknown entity. There's the first and a follow-up spraying. Simple will shut him down, but it's a 1v2 now for Plopsky and a real chance in a round that NIP should have never had. Simple. Nice. Slams down the gauntlet, takes down three, and decides that enough is enough. Third round on the board for Na'Vi. But, but still, that round feels like it gets a lot closer than it needed mm. to. Yeah. Good spray, right? Down on B from Rez. And Simple, really good decision to not stick the bomb there. He gets the trade. He doesn't know where that last man is, but he's alone on B. His teammate was on that top site in the hut. So Simple just holding down and waiting for the fight is a better decision. Because if he sticks the bomb, well, firstly, there's a world that he dies while sticking it. And secondly, even if he does stick it, if he doesn't get the kill, then that player is going to defuse while the last player on Na'Vi is on the top site. So... It's going to be a very important round for Na'Vi to keep things going, keep momentum in their favor, back-to-back -back rounds, and look at the economic impact that's had. NIP are broke now. And that's good for Na'Vi, right? Now they can really build into this T-side. This 8-1 lead that once was in the hands of NIP is going to close up very quickly. And I think, like, Electronic is, is being haunted by the memory of having to... having a kill his friend earlier in Flamey to take the yeah. bomb off of him because he, he was just a, a force of nature on overpass and here well he's sitting bottom of the board for Na'Vi three kills to his name right now tied alongside Flamey so both of them needing to recover from that pistol round however this could provide some solace to Na'Vi a chance at a clean round here only up against pistols on the other side the only danger man is Nork with that Deegan armor. Yeah, I mean, if Na'Vi have problems here in this round, I, I'll be a little lost here, right? Only Nork. So, I would just need to stay grouped. Don't allow these pistols to get more than they should. I love the secret setup, but like we said, Ari, we've only really seen Electronic in that position on his own. Never been like a full commitment by a Na'Vi roster. And even if there was, that's probably worst for NIP, even with this triple setup, and they're going to fall off. Probably a good time as well, that grenade lands. They're actually going aggressive. They're actually playing very close towards the stairs. 30 seconds here for Na'Vi, and they have nothing. Neither do NIP in terms of that A site, though, leaving it completely open and barren. So if Na'Vi just send a single player in through main, like they're doing right now, they're going to clear that one out. Electronic, he sees two minimum in the secret. So that's big info. Na'Vi needs to push A off the back of it because 20 seconds, they need the plant. And Electronic has all the kills, two outside, tapping for the third. And there's a fourth there as well. This is going to be a bomb plant for Na'Vi and a guaranteed fourth round as they look to put the final bullet in the piñatas in pajamas. Oh, but they're not full of candy, they're full of cash here for Electronic, who's making a pretty penny over here Ooh. outside. He gets $1,200 for all those kills. So he's feeling good about life. Four on the board for Na'Vi. They keep that anti-eco round nice and clean, and that felt like, like a necessity if they wanted to continue the grind back into this game. They haven't made it easy for themselves, but there is still the chance that Na'Vi are able to stumble back to their feet, and they are in the prime position to do exactly that, right? And IP fully investing into this round. Once again, they're in that same situation where if they lose it, they've got nothing in the follow-up. So Na'Vi, it, it's kind of right here that we can see them explode back into this game in a very big way. Yeah, I mean, eight, seven and a half for Na'Vi, very, not only very attainable, but that would be an excellent T-side. And NIP are going to have a, a very hard time, you know, getting the same amount of rounds on this second half, I can imagine. Twist, did he see? Didn't look like there was a gap, but Simple's down. Not exactly many players on lower. It's only Plopsky playing the B-bomb site, giving away secret to Na'Vi in this round. Rez is spotting outside for info from main, but if he peeks aggressively, Simple's orb was there. It is no longer. Boomich holding that secret rotate. He can tell Na'Vi that they don't need to worry about their backline. Notice there's only two in lower with the bomb. 
This is a bit of a risk for Na'Vi. Will they want to come up the vents and try and take a top slight hit? Flamey's lining up Hell Smoke by the looks of things, and that's going to allow Boomish to get a lot of control outside and wrap Heaven. This is a classic Boomish play. He loves going for this. The Molly's down. It's going to come down to this fight against Nork. Nork's very paranoid that they could have wrapped into the garage. And with players coming back up through Secret, that is a chance now. One man will try and cross. Boomich is making noise up above main as well, but he's jumped past Rez. And Rez deals with Electronic. Boomich to follow up and keep this in a four on four. He's going to go back in for more. And Rez giving up this position in main. Ooh. Oh, simple. Going to miss the shot. But Flamey is there to pick up the piece. And Tampus now in the site. If he drops the bomb, maybe there's a chance. But he falls immediately. Plopsky going to try and come up through the vent. Ooh. Flamey just takes his eyes off of it. So he will be allowed to come up on this rotation, but promptly dealt with by the Flamer himself. Leaves it all onto Twist in a one on three. Gonna try and hold onto the AWP. Don't fancy his odds in this retake. Kill onto Flamey as he goes hunting for the big green. Ooh, Simple, dear. even coming out swinging as well, looking to get some revenge for Mr. Flamey. And he will get it. No scope for style points even. And he throws away whatever skin he had to take the Asimov, which is a nice bet. Respectable, for sure. And yeah, Flamey, man, he may have been 0-7, Harry. He may have been having a rough game, but as as a stat showed a, a minute ago, Elliot put up, oh, nice no-scope, that, uh, you know, his first, his first MVP, his, sorry, Na'Vi's first round win was him with an MVP without a kill. So, you know, since that point, he's really warmed up. He's had a lot of impact on this top site, only five to his name, but he's been entering a round after round for Na'Vi and dealing with Propsky coming up the vents as well, giving him a full sense of security as Propsky gets into the site with no further. Deagle outside for Rez. We know these pistols are good for Nip, but a quick trade from Electronic. He will get tagged up by Twist, retreating back into A. An IP and a four on four. They have lower as well. Nork is already in rotation, so that's being controlled by Na'Vi, or by NIP. Propsky pushed into the ramp room. Right now, considering the, the weaponry and the, the stakes here for this round for NIP, they're in a pretty good position. Definitely doable. Mork's going to look for the next kill, but nothing's giving him anything outside. Na'Vi actually abandoning that position, going back to T-Roof where Flamey's been sitting and trying to essentially retake the lobby because right now they don't have it and NIP are starting to get control. Plopsky, he hears a footstep, he hesitates, and that might be the best call he's made this round waiting for Na'Vi to set up and get comfortable. Oh, oh nice little uh, kill from Simple. Plopsky's been spotted as well, so his flank isn't going to have the results they were hoping for. Maybe it might. Does take one down as a bit of a parting gift. Twist ringing out with the D. Will get traded by Flamey, but it's all left on to Flamey in a 1v2. He drops down into B. They're going to hear this. There's an AWP that can be retrieved, and that can find its way into the hands of Nork. Flamey, oh, no. they're not even going to try and let him get the plant down. They just charge him. They just hound him down. And NIP, they take this ninth round. They get one on the board. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. buy some better sprays, but there's my advice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that's just one of the ones that CS drops you after the game. Oh, I got another one of that. Just a face. You know, it's not like a welcome to the clutch spray or no something. salt sprays. Yeah. Here. I don't see enough salt sprays. Honestly, I forget sprays exist, man. I, I, I'd love to abuse them. You know, great, great BM tool. We see, like, Kaysaran to do it a lot on his, t uh, on his enemies' bodies. And, yeah, I like sprays, but uh, definitely forget they exist in this game. 9-5. NIP. They don't let Na'Vi sweep the half. Remember that 8-1, that 8-2, uh, eight, eight, I guess. At one point, Na'Vi started to build, finding four in a row. Well, it's finally going to get broken. NIP will at least win the half with style here. It's just whether down, uh, down to whether uh, Na'Vi finds six or five. Oh, that's a pick. Flamey again on these A-side openers. He's been ruthless. Finding Nork through the smoke, and that's the top performer right now for NIP. Hampus, again, he may have had a strong start to this map with three kills in the first couple of rounds, but or three kills in the pistol, I think it was, but five and nine right now, again, struggling individually. Narvi, a man up. 
Smokes in the outside area, not the standard ones, looking for lots of control here. And again, it's only Electronic coming behind them. I love this for Na'Vi because NIP have no idea what lurks outside. They don't know how many players possibly could be here. And so Na'Vi grouping towards ramp. NIP have pulled away from this position and stacked that top site. They're gambling on A and outside if you're Plopski. So Na'Vi have full control towards ramp. They can split B off the back of the secret control as well. And there's no one lower for NIP. Flamey doubling up. He really has gone from zero to hero. He was 0-8 at one point in time in this game. Ooh. Well, now he's been the driving force, it feels like, in a lot of these Na'Vi rounds. Hampus coming in with a preemptive rotate down towards B, but he's the only man left standing. This round is uh, an another weird one as yeah. Hampus tries to come up through the vent, Whoa. sneaking in, bested by Boomich, and the... NIP in the lead after the first half. Things are looking up for the Ninjas, but well, Betway don't really agree here as they believe Na'Vi are going to pull the reverse sweep here in this series and, well, cut things down in the second half. They at least recover that T-side after a bit of a sloppy start for Na'Vi, but now back in a pistol round, back in the favoured half, things can start to flow like usual. Electronic, as is tradition. Quick tap outside. He's looking for more. NIP cross three and four down towards B. Well, they try and cross four. They actually cross three. The last man is in the lobby. And, well, Simple has joined him. Hampers, I don't think he's realized that Simple has gotten this deep. And this is a big bit of real estate for Na'Vi. Simple remaining very cautious, not over-pushing, not fully clearing lobby, and knowing that they could still be a man at the back. So Hampers moving in, expecting this to be safe. It's anything but safe. That's a double man advantage for Na'Vi and NIP. They may be on this lower site, but so are the CTs. Up the vent they go. Popsky hunting for kills. Electronics trapped with a reload. He needs to get overwhelmed. He needs to get hounded down. Nork will do that. And now A is completely open for business. Open for Ooh. business indeed. Another kill. Plopsky's printed out the VAT number. He's ready to go on this one. Nork and him side by side. Got this bomb on the back of Plopsky. They're going to start to plug in these digits. Boomich Ooh, and his dear. little nade could do damage. And wow. indeed it will. Both players tagged down very, very low on the receiving end of that. <laughs> That's a little risky, Boomich. I don't think he'd do that again, bud. But maybe he will. He loves to tempt fate. In fact, though, trying to come in. Boomich has got to draw the attention away to allow him to progress, and he does, but to his demise, it's Nork and Plopsky with a two on four. Somehow, some way, they keep an IP in that pistol to reach double digits. And again, the five on three for Na'Vi that just gets dropped. We had so many of those in the first half that NIP were able to claw back, and it's Na'Vi over-rotating to that lower bomb site, expecting you know, NIP to commit. I don't blame them for that, but NIP go right up the vents and uh, a very fast rotate to that top site will put them back in a powerful position. Ten rounds to their name, uh, Na'Vi on an eco. We saw, I mean, the results of Na'Vi being left to low economy in the first half. They went down 7-0, 8-1 before they even started to streak rounds together. Right now, Na'Vi, they want to get those guns out ASAP, but what that requires is an eco here and oh dear. Forget I said anything. Na'Vi, they're fully committing. And I, I think I I think I prefer this, to be honest. The chance that Na'Vi win this, you know, it's going to be a difficult round if NIP do something like a quick top site rush. But if Na'Vi do win it, they save themselves in this series. If they lose it, they dig themselves a very deep hole and they're going to they're gonna have to recover, you know, up against like a 12-6 scoreline. So let's see the result. Or oh, close shots are electronic, but close won't cut it as NIP cross towards B. Boomich has got to do a lot with very, very little here. The CZ and a dream. And this smoke is, uh -oh. uh, is hiding behind it. A deadly truth. Boomich, run. Run as fast as you can. He gets into the B site, but he's lost his teammate at ramp. And oh dear, uh. he tried to go in to get the gun. And he realizes very, very quickly the mistake he's made. Blamey though, will he be considered? It's a third man in the site. Oh dear, he does. They find him. They deal with electronic. Perfecto now the only man left standing. RV. Not able to find anything with this force fight. Perfecto with one, but that is it. 
11 now on the board for NIP and a 12th right around the corner as this money is gone for the Na'Vi side. Mm, yeah, this is the problem, right? Like a 12-6 before Na'Vi even have an M4 in this game. And, you know, like, of course, doable for Na'Vi on their map pick. But NIP, I, I'm holding out for this right now. They're looking to bring us to train. And it seems very attainable at this point. Haha. -ha. A Molotov on Electronic on an Eco. Bit of a rarity. He's going to throw that in. He's going to go outside as well. He's trying to stop those smokes. And that's actually a really good idea considering NIP have been going for these smokes consistently. But they come in late. That second one delayed. It's a good call to allow the smoke to bloom correctly. This grenade for Flamey he might find some damage, but he's got to drop with it. Eh, not really that much. Flamey falling back to B. Navi having to give up this position. It's going to be an absolute B rush here from NIP. No reason to stop. There's a kill from Electronic. Boobies is here with a P250, but... Ooh! What? He got a kill he there. He got that. Okay. That's insane. And that's a team nade onto Hampus, bringing him down low. They're really giving him a trial by fire. Uh -oh. And that's led to his death. No, Simple now not. here with the Deagle, and he's going to get rid of Rez. Plopsky's gone as well. And with the vanilla pistols, Na'Vi do it. So, okay, right, if this map, this series, well, more so this map, if it's taught us anything, forget everything you thought you knew about Counter-Strike, because this is the game now. That is, look at that shot. But, oh, you can't even tell he got it. Simple whiffs, like four bullets, and then just bang. Like, oh. That was excellent for Na'Vi, but definitely, like, NIP, you know, eco-hunting, right? classic case i mean i don't even know man like well apart from hampers the, the only guy that goes yeah. hunting is hampers I who guess. gets team nated and and you know like boomich's shot is just incredible there's no accounting for it and then it just looks like you know for nip they hit like that panic mode of realizing oh dear okay we're a man down we have to we have to really get this back under control and they're so fixated on the high volume of players that was spotted coming out of the vents that they completely discount simple wrapping in into the window. I don't know, man. It felt like NIP played that right outside of the team they had onto Hampus. That was just a, a great recovery from Na'Vi in that round. And it wasn't right till the very end when the pressure's on that it really fell apart. So Ooh. it's like we keep seeing shadows of Na'Vi. Like they keep showing us the team that they were on overpass, but but only glimmers of it. You know, like not, not looking like the, uh, the same high-flying squad that were just on our screen about an hour ago. Not consistently, at least, right? Like on and off, very on and off. Simple. He hit a timing, a very good one, to the secret stairs. Outside smokes. Electronic had a gap. He's going to go over the flash. Oh, he spots one. Simple doesn't need to show his position, but now he can. After Electronic has drawn them in, Simple shuts them out. Two kills in the yard. Navi, though, don't consider this round being a one off the back of a double. Boomish is going to drop the bomb. Hampus is already in secret, I imagine from a, a vent drop of some sort, but Rez has been traded on ramp by Flamey's re-aggression, and it's down to Hampus in a big old clutch. He does find Simple outside, but past this point, it's going to be very difficult. Knife out, get shot the second he does, and Na'Vi find eight, securing themselves a bit of a buffer here in the CT side as they break the money of NIP, and this can close up the game nice and tight. Bit of a gap in the smoke there for NIP. Hopefully they get them right on the next time around because you know Electronic will go back for seconds. Here's those Glocks and P250s. Na'Vi have already won a full eco. Let's see if NIP can do any better. Twist has got his running shoes on, and he's really ahead of the curve, but simple. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Okay. That's fine. Oh, dear. They swarm on down onto Electronic, but he gets put back under control by the fellas up in this A-bomb oh, site. Shoots the gun. Oh. He, simple was the only guy who needed the upgrade. He came from secret, and whoever grabbed the gun shot it away. Boomich also dropped his weapon as he waited for the AK. Not only does Simple stay with the SMG, <laughs> but Boomich doesn't even get a gun. He, he drops his M4 and the AK doesn't get picked up. Oh dear, Na'Vi man. Like, you know, you love him and you also hate him at the same time. <laughs> uh. God. That's just when the communications are uh, uh, clearly getting frantic for Na'Vi and the post round as well. I can't imagine. Yeah, like with a victory, the you know, like, guys, uh... guys, quick, 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 Nate, uh, give me the gun. 
Yeah, you you got to hope that uh, things are calm in the Navi camp because NIP have still got some life in them yet. The Abumite hey, just quietly reinvesting like in an M4, <laughs> don't say a word. You picked up an AK off the ground from one of your teammates. You just pretend mm -hmm. like you had it the whole time. Like no one has to know. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, Boomich, we will keep your secret. So I say that. I mean, everything was live. We, we have it. We have the VODs. We have the receipts. Plofsky spotted in main, but does come out ahead with the duel. Onto oh, Electronic, baby. follow up from Nork, and they say bomb site was left of it, is overrun by NIP. Nork coming together for even more kills in this round. And for Simple and Boomich, they're going to have to save and hold on to this AWP and AK. Oh dear, Plopski, second kill in the round. He's on a tear, he hunts down Simple with that AWP. And this is going to be a 12th on the board for NIP. Not only is it clean, they've kept all five alive, but they've also shut down these players saving, all by the exception of Boomich. As long as he doesn't have the tendency to hit that G key again, everything should be okay for him. NIP won't find him. And that's fine by them. Five alive and another right for round one. Another. And IP got the pistol, they won the anti force. Navi won an eco and went on a three round streak. And now that has been broken. Has the money been broken with it though? That's a question for Navi. They've still got a little bit left to invest, and Simple does have the AWP here, so it's a decent buy. But Navi, yeah, if they don't win this round, this map might might end. It might take us some train, because NIP not only up to 13, but on an anti eco. So pressure really is on this round for Navi. Electronic in the back garage, standard stuff. Got Flamey Hellside, simple on ramp. Flamey's going to be able to assist Heaven and also throw outside flashes to uh, assist Electronic. Boomich and him holding a crossfire. It's a good setup for Navi. Uh, and IP are going to go outside though, so this setup will get dispersed as Navi going to need to deal with the B play here from the ninjas. Going to have to move players down lower. Who do they decide to do? It's going to be simple with the AWP. First man down from the ramp. Flamey takes his place, but it's not a B play for NIP. They're going back towards main. Quick tag, quick dink from Electronic. He's got to swing. He's got to get a little more value, but he finds two dinks, no kills. Still NIP on teeter totting between death, at least for Popsky and Nork. And if they want this A site, they've got to get through another crossfire. Simple from this stairs position. There's one. Takes the fallback. Boomich going to remove Nork outside in the meantime. And Simple is sticking around. Still looking for these fights. He's the only man down here at B. So he doesn't want to get overwhelmed and lose the bomb site. Because the rest of Na'Vi are a little ways away from rotating just yet. Simple still getting pressured. And they're closer than he's ready for. Now the rotation comes in from the rest of Na'Vi. Three on two. You're probably looking at this thinking, well, how could this go wrong? Well, it has done before, but this time around, they deny the bomb plant, leaving it on twist. They isolate those engagements. They, they mop it up. Boomich coming in with three. And, and oh. that's Na'Vi looking to return to form. As they now reach double digits. It's good Bo Boomich saved that AK. You know, getting away with three kills, Harry. Pretty, pretty big value. See, I'm, I'm a half joking there, but I'm also not because he actually did save the AK in the previous round. But yeah, I mean, Navi, the, the rotate there was really, really good. They they knew that NIP had to commit. There were 20 seconds after Simple got taken down and there was just no way that NIP could go back up unless they take vents. And that's where Navi are coming from. So also nades towards A, Boomich avoids them. He's got a full belt of util as well, so he doesn't have to worry about a faster play for NIP. He can drop the molly if they give any indication that they're coming towards that site. Smoke's outside. Already players here for the NIP. Again, the economy of both sides really come to a breaking point. Loser of this round is on Eco, and so pressure's on for Na'Vi more so than anyone. Down by two, quick flash into main, electronic again, and Plopsky just 360s him for style points, takes him down in the garage, and yeah, Na'Vi needs to start switching up these positions, because NIP are very ready for the setups. In fact, they're going to try and push hard. Hampus holding, but does miss his shot, it's a wall bang kill. Flamey, NIP now going to go ramp side from hell, they don't flank heaven towards A, and Flamey's missed the timing, he's pushed into ramp. Now, 
Simple's the only man on B, but he is at least safe in the secret. And now he's considering the fact that they could be coming down from ramp side. So 40 seconds here. NIP selling the B fake with flashbangs. Surely they're not going to commit with this, though. The bomb going back towards hell. Na'Vi scrambling to rotate down B, but NIP are faking them out to take this top site. And there's no one here for Na'Vi. Dear, oh dear, they've got to come back through the hut now. With the Molotovs going in, it will become clear. Perfecto has to offer something up from this position. Boomich gets dealt with. Traded, left in a three on three. Perfecto with a crucial kill to see Narby into this retake with a man advantage. Nork is wrapping him and he just killed Boomich. So, a bit of a mystery as to how they weren't entirely ready for it as he continues to go aggressive. Nork maintaining this position in the lobby. Following up with another, trade comes in from Flamey, now left in the 1v1. Rez is trapped back in this bomb site, and Flamey doesn't know that yet, but he's going to spot the bomb, isn't really planted for Ooh. anything, so he has an inkling, and that will be the kill. And the round for Na'Vi. 11 now on the board, and he's looking to grab himself an AK. He'll get his hands on it. So closing this gap, closing the distance, now just one away from tying this up with an NIP squad that got off to a 7-0 in this map. Yeah, Perfecto actually couldn't turn around there because he was trapped in the hot corner by the player close in the site. So, yeah, he, he realized if he looked behind him, his barrel would have stuck out and he likely would have just gotten peaked by Rez. And so he just kind of had to commit with that and hope for the best. Also, Nork snuck on the back line, so no guarantee that he was ever going to flank. But good play from Nork. Still not enough for NIP. The bomb plant, ooh, it gives him some money. But this would be, you know tempting fate if you bought here if you're NIP you're up by one use that to your advantage take this one as a breather get an eco off and figure out what you want to do in this pause double mac 10s with pistols Navi do they keep putting electronic in the back garage he has been countered round after round even when he's finding damage and dinks he's never getting away with you know a kill and NIP have been on top of that position every single time so electronic love to see him try and switch things up here maybe play towards secret swap out with simple on the AWP he can play passive garage but yeah this is it electronic crossing with the molotov and look how quick he gets here twist has no idea and electronic has a free kill there that's lovely stuff from electronic a real danger trying to do that, but he gets away with it because NIP are charging rapid four. Simple can't help. Flamey, he's in a spot of bother, and the Molotov only finds a bit of damage. The kill will come through from him, and Electronic on that B rotate. The early secret position provides some salvation, and he'll be able to shut down the round. Won't save the AK, but will save Na'Vi and that anti eco. Here we have it, all tied up at 12 to 12. NIP, they got off to a great start and they've made every one of these rounds, it feels like, look doable. So they've been fighting very, very hard to keep this scoreline up. Now we hit the juncture where maybe it turns against them. Na'Vi stumbling back to their feet after a bit of a, uh, a bit of an odd, very like uncharacteristically Na'Vi start to this game. Now waking back up and showing us this form that we've come to expect. The form that we saw just a map ago, Harry. Remember, that's a 16-8 on overpass. 12-3 CT side for Na'Vi. Like, they look so in control there. So, yeah, th this slow start was definitely not accounted for. But, well, recovered. The numbers speak for themselves. Na'Vi are equal with NIP in this game. Stalemate. Now they hit the go button. Flamey dropping that Molotov, forcing them through it. And a man was deep, but Simple's come in to help Flamey out. With that kill, they've dropped the bomb. And Na'Vi aren't backing off. They're not falling down into B. They're looking to keep this contested. And Flamey offering up yet another kill. They lose Twist elsewhere. It is all left on to Plopsky. I think has been spotted here at the ramp for him. They know he's coming this way anyway with the bomb in this position. That Molly will at least allow him that 1v1 onto Flamey, but the moment this veil fades, the smoke Ooh. is now gone. Oh. Simple's able to swing out. And Na'Vi, they take the lead, 13 to 12. No money in these, well, that's not a lie. That's a lie. There is money in these NIP bank accounts, but not enough to go for a purchase. It's gonna be a partial investment up against 13, up against Na'Vi, finding themselves in the lead for the first time in this map. Oh, how the cookie crumbles, Harry, and for NIP, 
Oh dear, a missed Thorne. They wanted to fast play A. They're going to have to bail on that one immediately. You can see Red's going back to spawn. Everyone's calling this one out. And MIP going to have to change up the game plan. Where do they go? Smoke's outside again instead as Electronic. He just sits in main trying to fight the outside. Fake smokes though, and IP not pushing anything behind them, and no info for Navi to confirm or deny that. Simples on this top site, and right place, right time. Does he stick around? Because and IP are about to burst. There's a player on top of Silos playing anti flash. That's perfect though. This is a good setup for here for Navi. Three here, and surely this should be their round up against the pistols. You're relying on Popsky. Miss shot from Simple. That's info. Does it send NIP away from this site? Certainly looks to be the case for the time being. Chris looks at Ramp, but there's the commitment. There's the kill that will get NIP pumped. Will it carry forward? Perfecto has to be on a swivel here. He has the ever watchful eye of Simple up above. And with the help from Flamey, the kills have gone the way of Na'Vi. Nork, top performer for an IP, top performer in the server. Armed with only a Deagle to try and answer back. Lands the tag onto Flamey as he falls. So that's even more damage done. Baits the shot from oh, Simple, who offers up a fight with a P2K. Both these players for Na'Vi are low, but they keep pressuring, they keep the pressure on. And they find a 14th round. They don't give Nork the room to maneuver. Uh, Navi were in like, uh, I, I think it's two on four at one point in that site. Those entries came in so quick, simple. He takes such a risk strafing out wide from heaven, right? There's players below him. There's two next to the door. He's got Perfecto behind him to support, but simple hits the quickest shot on a hot player. And then Perfecto just covers with a double. Good setup there for Navi. The, the one-two punch on that A-bomb site. Flamey rather, not Perfecto. But uh, yeah, still, Navi, another round to their name. 14 in the game and NIP on what could be their last purchase in this series if things don't go their way. And boy, things are not going their way. Electronic, we have not seen him do anything like this all game. And Plopsky might just be going down. That smoke gives Plopsky the room to get behind red. And Electronic, he's still here though. You know, there's more players crossing. He spotted one. He's gonna try and transfer. There's the trade for Nork. Very quick indeed. Keeps NIP in this one. Yeah, the smokes are down outside, but NIP aren't crossing behind them. Ooh. They're going to try and get in towards Ramp. Flamey wrangling with that gun, regains oh, control, dear. and miss shot from Simple, uncharacteristically so, enables this A-side play from NIP. There's oh. a tag. That was on to Hampus. Finishes it off the second time around, but Nork, as he so often does, gets up in the face and immediately gets that trade. He's on three kills in this round, and he's not content with just the hat trick. He's looking for a little bit more. He's moved back into the hut to set up here for this post plant. Dinks Boomich, Flamey from heaven has been waiting so patiently to try and deny this defuse. Rez taps it to try and bait the team. Flamey now swinging nice. out, catches him, changing wow. to the bomb. It's all on Nork. He needs the ace to deny map and series point to Na'Vi. And he's going to duck out the ace site. Goodbye. Oh, Tries to no. get down the vent, but there comes Flamey. Match and series point for Na'Vi and Flamey. What a storyline in this map. He goes from being the problem for Na'Vi. Zero kills to his name. I think it was heading into round number eight. So 0 and 7 on the board. And now, since then, in that round, he was the MVP. He was the reason they got it locked in. Since then, he's recovered massively and is second on the board for all of Na'Vi. What an individual recovery to save this game yeah. for the Na'Vi squad. He's had some huge rounds. Considering Electronic has had trouble outside, right? He definitely has recovered in the past few, but Flamey has filled the void. Then, ah, dear Electronic again. Back garage and back to the graveyard. It feels all too familiar here for Na'Vi. They're not out of the woods yet. They're not shutting NIP out of this series. Norg on a double. He is looking for more and more. He's already up 30 plus, simple. Not quite there yet, but gunning for it. Finds Hampus. Nork on a third. Drop simple. This man is just on a tear. Boomich fake drops vent. He's going to come right back up, though. And they've got to be careful with that heaven split. That's where Nork is coming from. Flashing through. Boomich looking to drop the bomb in the main smoke. He could win this round on his own. And oh, they line up, but he only gets one. There's the flash. Perfecto drops Plopsky. Now he's got to be careful from the main wrap. But the twist doesn't want to lose the bomb on his own. So he heads secret to B to regroup with Nork. Oh, Perfecto fakes the rotation, makes noise in doing so. Could cut this bomb Ooh. off. Nork has rewrapped round in through the double doors to join up with they're Twist. Gonna go and up. They're going to go up A. They're going to try and do Perfecto, but this isn't oh, a man no. that you can... Oh, they're stuck on each other. Get out of the way. Let them go up. Oh, almost the round. Nork Ooh. really wanted that gunfight. And with 
Oh, I mean, it got a little bit dicey. Oh. At least he makes up for it, right? Like, because you can imagine the comms there. Like, that would have been terrifying. Imagine yeah. how it feels to be Plopsky. You're thinking, like, I'm going to die. Please, if you don't move out of the way, or twist rather, if you don't move, Nort, I am dead. And he does die, but Nort gets the trade at least. And with it, they break the money for Na'Vi. 14 could be arriving on the scoreline wow. for NIP. There is still a chance that they recover this game yet. They're only up against the pistols in this round. And Hamper, sneaky little man, has gotten down the vent. Yeah, I love that. He reads the money so well, man. Na'Vi went on, what, a six-round streak? NIP get one, and they immediately read the fact that they're anti-eco and, and throw in that fast door play, knowing Na'Vi won't have Molotovs. They've got to play for round number 30, and Hampus is coming from lower. But this is an expected path, and so Na'Vi should be aware of this possibility. He's not going to commit outside. Plopsky's looking, however, but sees nothing. We've got Electronic tucked close in the garage this time, supported by Simple. Probably calling for help in this eco because things have been rough in garage. And every time we've seen Electronic switch it up and go somewhere else, he's had great effect. So in that last round, I'm sure he'll do the same. I'm sure he'll move back to another play. Maybe just go glaving it around the red box. Nork, 34 kills and not stopping. Hampus cutting off bed rotations. He's been here all game long, waiting for Boomich. Nork, ooh, the reload. He's running away. And that's given Electronic a bit of a room to move on the chase. He gets smoked and he runs through it. Nork hears every footstep and he finds his 35th. Just adding more and more. Plopsky spots one of the ramp, but there's just no pressure for NIP here. Not in this round, at least. They know that Na'Vi have to come to them, and Plopsky happily takes that peak. Nork finishes it off, and he's aiming for the 40 bomb right now. Four kills in that follow-up round would do it, and that would at least send us to OT as well here in the second map. Train as a potential third. Na'Vi still looking for this 2-0. They could end it here and now. They could deny OT, but they've not exactly got the best money in the world. Pressure's really on now for either of these teams, right? NIP vying for overtime, trying to take us the distance with the end goal of getting us to trade. Simple here outside with the AWP, and that oh. first kill gets delivered. There's not a smoke here, and Plopsky trying to run the gauntlet gets dropped. So now NIP outside is officially off limits. They regroup back up in the lobby, and they might look to go for one of these explosive A plays where they frequently got the better of Na'Vi on the back of Boomich and Electronic playing this double setup. They've also got Simple nearby outside and even Perfecto holding onto the hut. This is a very heavy A-site lead from Na'Vi. This is the perfect time to pull it in. Majority of players here on SMGs. Can they hold down the line as this execute Ooh. now comes through? The Molotov is going to split this push in half. The players from the hut can't come out. And so we're relying on the rest of the gang to put up the kills. Into the crossfire they go. And it's all left on to Rez. Flamey flanking ramp just gets spotted. Rez knows there's a temporary one-on-one -on -one he can try and get. But Flamey is not taking any chances. He knows he doesn't have to. He's backed all the way off to ramp. Silence falls across Nuke in this 1v3. Rez looking for anything. And Flamey about to swing out from hell. Rez could get caught looking the wrong way. Able to dodge him. Gets down the ramp. Has made noise. So Na'Vi know this. Rez is going to be afforded a bomb plant at a bare minimum. Electronic fast oh. on the rotation. Swings the door 